Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, what I would like to discuss is the peace dollar, the vintage peace dollars. Common dates, key dates, which would you rather have? Would you rather have a common date, better condition, higher grade, or a key date in a lower grade, worse condition, peace dollar? That's what we are going to talk about in this video. Now, the peace dollar, it all started in 1921 when the peace dollar transitioned from the Morgan silver dollar to the peace dollar in 1921. And then the peace dollar went all the way through until 1935. Now, the most key date in the series of the peace dollar is the 1928 Philadelphia. The 1928 Philadelphia is the lowest minted peace dollar with only 360,649 for the Philadelphia peace dollar. The most common date peace dollar, well, it's the one we're looking at right here. It is the 1922 Philadelphia no mint mark. Now, if it did have a mint mark, where would that mint mark be? Well, let's take a look. Here is a 1923 peace dollar, and this one is in fact from the San Francisco mint. So if we flip this over to the reverse of the coin, and if we scroll in right Underneath where it says one, just almost directly between the O and the N and one, right behind the tail feather, we can zoom in right there. If we can focus right there, we can see that there is a S mint mark. That is from the San Francisco mint. If we can focus in a little bit more on that, a little hard to see. It's a very tiny mint mark. But that right there is where that mint mark lies on the peace dollar, right there on the reverse of the coin. All right, so very cool. So that's where you would find the mint mark on your peace dollars. If it had a mint mark, then you will see on a Philadelphia minted peace dollar, there would be no mint mark. We can take a look right there in that exact spot, and there is no mint mark. So once again, the most Key date peace dollar was the 1928 Philadelphia with 360,649. Now, if you want to buy the 1928 peace dollar, usually even in the worst condition, maybe if you're going to buy it fine, very fine, ungraded, in a less than beautiful condition, not very much luster, if any luster at all, it's still going to run you a little bit over, right around $100. Maybe you can get it less than $100. Maybe it'd be a little bit over $100, but it would be right around $100. Whereas you would be able to pick up one like this that has the highest mintage, but in a pretty good condition where you're going to have a bunch of luster you get those little cartwheels that everybody likes to see. You would be able to get this at a very reasonable price, but in a very good condition. And I think the Peace Dollar is the most beautiful coin, in my opinion, that was ever struck by the United States Mint, even more so than the Morgan Silver Dollar. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with that. And of course, none of this is financial advice. Just having a discussion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. But again, in my opinion, I think the peace dollar from the United States Mint as a circulated coin is the number one coin that the United States Mint has ever produced. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful coin. Common date. Isn't she pretty? my question on this video is would you rather have a coin like this that is in a pretty decent condition you know borderline mid-state condition lower mid-state territory or 
even a little less than mid-state territory, mid-state condition, or would you rather have a poor condition key date for the peace dollar? Or you can even throw in the Morgan Silver dollar or any coin for that matter. Would you rather have a better condition common date or a very poor condition key date when it comes to your peace dollars, Morgan Silver dollars, or you can put anything in there for that matter. Now, if you're a collector and you want to collect just every single date for any given coin, the peace dollar or whatever the case may be, then maybe you just want to get that date and try to get it the cheapest possible and just so you can read the date and see the date and don't really care about the condition to the cheapest price possible. Well, in that case, maybe you do just want to buy a lower grade key date. But in general, would you rather buy and let me know in the comment section below. Hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section below. In my opinion, I would rather all day long buy like this, a 1922 where it's a mid-state coin or slightly below a mid-state condition coin versus buying a poor condition key date. And for that poor condition key date, you're still going to have to spend around $100 or so for something that just doesn't look too good. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this topic, what you think about the discussion we had in the video. What would you rather buy? Would you rather buy a better condition common date or a poor condition key date? and still have to spend a lot of money. Let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.